Olga box clips. Okay, cross right here. Got my finger over the close. You guys know the drill. Closing it. Okay. Why did I just close that? Pop quiz for all of my members. Why did I just close out that trade there at the cross? This is a very good one. Somebody mark the timestamp time stamp in the video. I don't know how to do that here on the live stream, but this is that is going to be a great example to go over later. Did not touch the final gold line spot. Couple of things. Yes, possible reversal. Close half the position or the whole thing. And I had had multiple entries. Let's start with this one from the beginning. So great trading uh, training opportunity right here. So we had that double cross show up, boom, we need to draw a measurement. Well, where's the first pivot? The first pivot that's obvious is right there. But what I tell you, be careful of crosses, right? Where's the previous cross? So what do I do? I'm going to, do I pick one or the other? No, I draw them both, right? All right. So F8 from the bottom of the pivot to the center of the double crosses. Now. You might have seen me in my video. I always tell, I think in the video, I told you to do the most, the closest one. That's for safety, okay? Technically, it's it's up to you. If you would like to do this, you can actually tell, look where that gold line hit, right? The gold line actually hit right there. So if you want to go you know, off of my original video, I think it's the safest targeting is the closest cross. But what you'll see me oftentimes do is I like to measure right in the center of those and give myself a little extra oomph because oftentimes we will get farther than that. And I like to use the gold lines for reversal opportunities as well. You know, again, we are playing with horseshoes and hand grenades here. Nothing is exact science. Nothing is exact math. Anybody who tells you that it is, uh, is it's, and unfortunately, they're not a good student of the markets uh, or they have been uh, classically trained improperly. So we are making estimations, best estimations. So let's remove this one here. So we know that one. That one's easy because that's pivot to center. But what about this cross right here? So this is how I got my other target. I press F8, same thing. We'll go from the previous cross to that one. And that's how I was able to easily get that first target off right there at this gold line. Second gold line is up here. But why did I close it right here? Mr. Schwartz, I think was the first one I saw that answered that correctly, was if a cross shows up very close, like if we're approaching that gold line, all of a sudden you get, remember what does a cross represent? We got a flow master event that, come in, that came in right there. This is significant action right here. This is significant um, relative to the current time. I mean, again, right now it's 8.30 a.m. So even something smaller could be significant, but um, if a cross shows up, just know that is a piece of information that you need to take into account. I close out the position and a um, few targets there. I think I did four. I think, I think that was a four contract scenario there. It might have been six. You like the center measurements sometimes from the target if I hesitate to the goal line. Yeah, it gives you from like some flexibility. This is the, the beautiful thing about why I say that Cyborg is still better. Cyborg is the combination of human and machine. A lot of people think that oh, full auto is everything, and letting uh, the you know some computer do all the trading for you. Um, look at that one. If that had been you know religiously taken um, or mathematically formulated for the measurement of F8 from here to the center, a bot would a bot have closed out right there? Like it's sitting there holding out for its target and now it missed the whole thing, right? We're right back to the point of entry. Um, but we can make adjustments, uh, humans can make, but um, maybe necessarily uh, machines may not. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn.